problem with a lot of colors of paint is that it looks nice and red on the brush, but when you put it on the furniture, it a lot of this brown shows through. This happens with a lot of colors. So some colors are have more of a clear base to them, and red is usually one of them. So I'm going to show you how to get your reds to come out brilliant. You're just going to take some white chalk paint and paint anywhere you think you might paint the red. All right, this is what the one coat of red looks like, and this is what the one coat of white looks like. Now I'm going to put red over both of them. This paint is still wet, but you can see that the color that is on the drawer with the white paint under it is the same color that's on the brush. This here, also the same color, but you would probably need two to three more coats to get to that. So this is why when you use reds and other colors that have a clear base, which would be usually more brilliant colors, if you put white underneath of it, you will get coverage like this instead of this. The red on this dresser is actually a base coat. I'm going to paint this color over top of it, but even when you're doing it as a base coat, it matters because this is what's going to show through when I sand to see through to this color. That's what's going to show through when I sand when it's got the white undercoat. So I want this brilliant color instead of this faded color to be under my paint. Okay, this paint is dry now. So this is what two coats of red looks like, and this is what one coat of white and one coat of red looks like. So as you can see, brings out the true color a lot better. And um, I did this quickly because I'm painting another color over top of it. But I'm gonna go ahead and paint a third coat on here just so you can see what happens with the third coat. So this is three coats of paint and this is three coats of paint. One coat of white with two coats of red and three coats of red. So putting white under your paint, especially bright colors, means you paint less coats and your colors are more brilliant. Some colors cover better than others, but pretty much if it's got white under it, it's gonna help it show whatever color it is. I figured this out when I was painting houses 20 years ago. I was doing a room for somebody in a fuchsia and I kept painting coat after coat after coat of paint until I had six coats of fuchsia paint on these walls. And that is when I learned about that every paint has a base that it starts with and some of the bases are clear. When the bases are clear, that means that you have to paint a whole lot to make it a solid color or you have to put something underneath of it like a primer or in this case, white paint. So that's it for today. Please check back often. I put up new videos all the time and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. This is what it looks like after I painted my top coat on here and sanded due to the red. I was really happy with this. And again, thanks for watching.